The number of unemployed in Ohio has spiked to record numbers. New state data shows the number of claims filed within the past two weeks stands at almost a half million. 3 News investigator Rachel Polanski has been following the story. As viewers tell us, they are still having issues with that unemployment website. Rachel, good evening. Good evening. You know, with so many people trying to file at the same time, I've heard about issues with the website crashing, with numbers not working. But I do have some good news tonight. I talked with a local lawmaker who has some advice for those who are struggling. The coronavirus pandemic has been stressful for all of us. Applied, and then early that next week, I received notice that it had been denied. But three news viewers tell me that issues with the unemployment website have only added to that stress. Bitch, I was on the phone two hours yesterday, Rachel, trying to get someplace, and I have gotten nowhere. I mean, my patients have ran out with them. I don't know what to do anymore. So what's causing the problems? Well, for one thing, a lot of people are applying. The number of jobless claims filed in Ohio over the last two weeks stands at 468,000. To put that in perspective, 364,000 initial jobless claims were filed in Ohio during the entire year of 2019. Well, I have received nothing, Rachel. This is going on two weeks now. Now, the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services has acknowledged the issues, saying it's adding 600 employees to help claimants over the phone. We are currently experiencing an exceptionally high call volume. In addition to increasing the capacity of its unemployment website, 20 times the original capacity. The state has to do better. That's State Representative Jeff Crossman. After watching our report, he reached out because he wants our viewers to know that lawmakers are still working. We're not in Columbus uh, meeting and, and legislating, but we are here for constituent services. He says if you're having problems with the unemployment website, reach out to your state rep or state senator. We are here to help people navigate uh, as best we can. And if you don't know who your local lawmakers are, head on over to WKYC.com. Click on this story, and I sorted that out for you. Russ. Rachel, let me ask you, if someone is having trouble applying, are they going to lose out on that money for good? It's a great question. No, they will not. The, uh, these uh, unemployment dates, it's going to be retroactive from when you first applied. So you will be entitled for any of the money that would be coming to you. That is certainly good. Rachel Polanski, thank you.